Hello everybody, my name is Thor Young, I'm a moderator at Bear Bull Traders, and I'd like to do a recap for you today. This is actually my first recap of the new year. The new year has been getting off with lots of uh, fun and interesting stocks to trade. I know you guys have seen some really cool recaps recently by Tiffany and by Andrew of some good trades they've been doing. I've had a great couple of trading days in the past. Um, haven't done a recap because I had a success webinar I did for the BBT chat room on uh, Tuesday night, which was my uh, first success webinar of the year and BBT's first of the year. So that was really awesome. Did that on fixed risk hotkeys, um, which was super fun. Really liked that one. So I thought I would go over my trades for you today. Um, today is a unique day. I'm very excited um, with uh, having a day today. Um, I actually had three tickers I decided to play today. All three tickers played really well. Um, just um, really more than me. I, the market itself was just really, really hot this morning and was really pretty easy to play. So um, I, I believe a good portion of the bearable traders room just absolutely cleaned up today. It's always nice when you get these, you know, these big moving days that actually do something for you. So my first trade of the day actually started off in the pre-market and it was on Plug here. Um, Plug had some really solid news. Um, not only does it have a price target upgrade, uh, it has um, some strategic investing stepping in, news of that happening, as well as some additional exposure into some more of the Asian markets. So this stock um, had a lot going for it. It already gapped up in the pre-market and Carlos and Norm, shout out as always for the pre-market show, had this one on peg. Um, you can see here, um, I have this level marked here at uh, $42. This is actually marked off the daily. And um, you can see that plug had bounced off of that to a pretty de big degree and then came up here and it popped on volume. When it popped on volume, you can see it held VWAP here. And once it made the new high, let me get a little closer. Once it, once it came up here and started to break back up, oh, sorry, went in too far. Once it made the new high there, after this nice little engulfing candle here, we had a good move. And you see I got some great partials up right through the open when it spiked. And it came back down here, held. I decided to hold for break even, which it never tested. Then when it came up and it pushed for pre-market, I averaged in to the loss of S1 here. Uh, that's a Camarilla pivot point and VWAP. So a really clean area there. Long there, got a really nice pop. Uh, and then I tried one more ad because I was basically out of shares at that point. Got a good partial, but then took a stop out at break even. Next trade was BBBY. Um, BBBY was just awesome. I, I have a lot of fun with this stock on the days it has earnings. Mostly BBBY, um, it's really important to pay attention to the short float of a stock. Um, quite often, the stock's short float can be an indication that it may have a good squeeze in it. So you could have a stock that's performing weekly like BBBY. But because there's so many shorts involved, you can almost expect a squeeze, which is what I was kind of waiting for here after the open. So you can see here we sold off in pre-market. We had this big candle, and then we just kind of like bounced in here. We tried to look at all these flat bottoms here on the candles. We were trying to break down. I was actually thinking this was going to ascend into a triangle for a breakdown. But then this candle happened. We had this big engulfing candle that broke back above VWAP. Then we hammered. Um, then we came back and tested but couldn't make a new low and started pushing for VWAP again. At that point, if you're watching L2 or Time and Sales, you could see the bid really start coming into the price, really close to the top of the price, buying at the ask. Um, and then you saw it popped up here and just got like a fantastic move out of BBBY. Came back here, held. I added into it, got a nice partial, but then stopped out. Last trade is WBA, a WBA classic R4 breakout. When I'm talking R4, I'm talking Camarilla pivots here. Okay, so you can see um, WBA had a really good sell-off, found a low around this daily level, and then bounced straight up and started going. I was, I was playing BBBY at the time, so I just wasn't paying attention to WBA and realized somewhere around here I had missed the move um, and decided I would just wait to see if we do an R4 breakout. So you can see we got above R4 here, and we did a, a flag here over the top of R4, holding pre-market high as well as R4. So I decided to go long, loss, pre uh, R4, and got a nice move up, partial, partials, partials, all good things. Um, and then you can see you had this really nice big move up, and then it moved up here, and I had a, my next partial was set up somewhere around 46.90. Didn't quite get there, and I didn't really see any crazy volume, so I had no reason to really partial it. Uh, but then, look, the volume came to the downside. At this point, um, you know, I'm I'm down pretty well on my position anyway, so I decided to hold off. 
Um, remember, I'm in from way down here, so I've got a big average I can work with. And when it came down, couldn't make it back to 45.50 and bounced with some volume. See this volume candle that came in? That's a nice reversal signal. You can see we had this engulfing candle on volume, so I waited for it to consolidate. And if it made a new high, I thought I'd add in with the loss of that candle. Uh, used my free roll key um, and, and went ahead and did that. Got a nice little pop, took some off there, which this is basically all the money I would have made if I had waited for the original position to get all the way up to, you know, 46.90 or whatever. So I'm, I'm gold on that position now. So everything here is just cake at this point, right? So anyway, those are my trades. Uh, my trades today. I only took those trades today. Only the three tickers. Um, uh, was really, really fortunate that everything went in my direction today. A um, little bit of everything in today. Everything from pre-market trade to uh, opening range breaks to uh, you know R4 breakout. Got a little bit of the whole playbook uh, getting thrown down today on this fun market. So I hope everybody had a great day as well. And as always, keep it green.